you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're showing you guys what you need to be doing with your coins right now. So, we're at that crossroads in the week, right? Wednesday. The day where cards are really high, the market's kind of slow, there's not a lot of content in Madden right now. It's always this day of the week. It's always a Wednesday. Now, obviously, if there was house rules, it'd be a little different, but there's not, so it's even a worse Wednesday. So there's a few things I think you should be doing with your coins right now, and some things I might even have to go ahead and do. I might not even compete in Weekend League this week, because I was thinking, right? With the market so high, we're like at a... Oh, okay, I, I, I'm, let me split these thoughts here before I cut myself off. Right now, with the way this game's looking, right? Mahomes and Marcus Allen were the best quarterback and running back duo. But... I know we're getting to a point where they're going to drop a better running back and quarterback soon by far, like a Vic and like a Barkley or a Vic and a Danian or something. So I'm kind of at this point where if I keep holding all these top end players, they're going to crash in value soon when the better cards come out. So I think it might be, I think this would be the week for me to probably sell my Mahomes and my Marcus and sell a lot of things on my team. And then just maybe wait out a week of weekend league, take a week off and just wait for a new team and then rebuild. That's what I think might be the best option for me, but I'm not entirely sure though, because I really do enjoy playing Weekend League. Hopefully the rewards, we get them today, so I can give you guys a video on that. I'm not entirely sure when those plan to come out, so I'm kind of just waiting for that at this point. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, smack the sub button. Boys, we're, we're close to 8K, we're like 400 subs away, so do, do yourself a service, come enjoy the content. I have a gameplay dropping today, I got hopefully Weekend League rewards, this video, and a content video, so... Smack the sub button, you won't, you, won't, you won't regret it, I promise. Also, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And for the likes, let's get 250 likes in this video. If you're loyal, smash the like button. Can we hit 250 likes? I know we can. Go hit the button, boys. Now, comment down below what you guys have been doing with your coins and what's your plan of attack for this week. I think I got mine. But if we head on over to the market to show you guys what I'm talking about right here, you'll see why I'm contemplating selling my team. So... I don't know if I'd say sell. There's some players that I think are worthy of a sell right now, is what I should be saying. So you come over to Legends, and you see Bruce Matthews is 270. A second ago, he was just 298. So if I could sell him in like the 285 range and get back after reduction like 255, and then buy him back on Legends Saturday for like 220, I can make 30k there. And if I could make like a net like that, like 30k per every player I sell, I sell like 10 cards, I make like 30 to 20k extra, and then buy them back. I could easily make back 300k. And even if I don't make it back, I could just hold the coins because, I mean, I don't really want to sell Bruce Matthews because although I could make 30k, then what? I go to Weekend League a week later, and I'm like, damn, I need a left guardian, I buy him right back. So, I think Mahomes might be a good sell soon because I can't imagine he's the best quarterback in the game for much longer. Although, some may argue Steve Young, he's still overpriced for my liking. Mahomes has all the abilities and everything stocked into one stock, so I really do like that. Now, what I recommend right now, right? So, if you guys don't, if you guys don't already know this, Mutt 10 promo, the, the newest limited time promo in the game. That we've been rocking with it's had a big impact on the market a big impact on the market so it's going to be coming out i believe it's usually friday at 4 30 or friday at 4 but this week because of the hurricane dorian down in florida and that's where i think they run most of their studios and stuff and the development so i believe it's coming out thursday which is tomorrow which would be pretty awesome It'd be a little earlier than usual if you guys don't know these limited time legends do just replace the saturday limited times not much different but Quick little device, don't forget to play your solo challenge when it does drop tomorrow, if that in fact is the date. But besides the point, guys, stay in touch with that. That's what I want the coin stack for. Remember, whatever position that comes out for this card is going to be very necessary for making coins. So I'll show you guys what I mean right now. If we head on over to the Madden Ultimate Team 10, so far we've gotten the halfback and we've gotten the linebacker. So the next position can either be safety, defensive lineman, cornerback, wild card, wide receiver, offensive lineman, quarterback, and tight end. So whatever position comes out, that market will inevitably die. When halfback dropped, Marcus Allen's value died. When linebacker dropped, Patrick Willis, Bobby Wagner's value went from 190K to 120K. Stay in touch with what comes out. So what I would do, guys, make sure you have a decent amount of coins for today. Wait till Thursday. Let's say, let's say this. A new safety comes out, right? A new strong safety beast, uh, Troy Palomalu, let's just say. I would, I would, I wish, but Troy Palomalu, he comes out. You know what happens? Ken Houston probably rock, tanks down to 150K. Probably, 160, he's gonna tank down. So 
what I would recommend is whatever, whatever player drops down, I'd recommend scooping. Now, you can't exactly make coins on this, but you're saving coins. Let's say your team, no money spent, you're grinding out a great team. The best time to buy positions are when these cards come out. So look, that's how you build a no money team. Watch this. Best tip I can give you guys. Week, next week, they drop defensive linemen. Right when it drops, you go over to the block, you pick yourself up a new defensive lineman, you get Tank Lawrence for like 180k. Great deal. Then, you need a cornerback. The cornerbacks drop, you get Jalen Ramsey for like 120k. Or you get Willie Brown for like 250. Whatever card comes out is going to kill their market. So that is kind of why I want more coins. Because if a card comes out, I want to buy a ton of these cards and then just wait a week and then sell them back. Or even if it's like a Willie Brown that comes down in price, I could, I could use him on my team. Or a wide receiver, or I can get Odell. There's a lot of players that I, I would gladly like at a discounted price. So if it's offensive lineman, Bruce Matthews might go down. It depends on the position, obviously. If he's a center, it all depends on what position they are. But guys, that's what you're going to want your coins for right now. Also, there are Team of the Week sets this week, obviously, for the new Team of the Week that will be coming out for the Week 1, which is a week from today. So just stay on the lookout for that. They do drop packs, but I don't think I'd recommend using your coins for that. And there will be new Legends Friday, obviously. Now, this is a limited time Legend, guys. Don't pull packs for them. Like, don't do not do overdo it. Right? If you want to spend like 50k in packs, fine. But don't overdo it, guys. Save your coins. If you want to know the best coin making method in the game, don't be dumb with coins. If you guys add up all the dumb things you guys do with your coins, from like a little reduction loss here, an inefficiency of buying training here, you add it all up, you end up spending like 100k a week in stupidity. If you could just keep that pop, uh, proper while just evaluating the ups and downs of the markets. I love evaluating the ups and downs of the market. So when that player drops, the market will be like right here, right here, right here. You buy, 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 buy. Comes back up, comes back up, comes back up. Right here, right here. You sell, sell, sell. Comes back down, comes back down. It's literally so simple. But people are like, I want Antonio Brown right now. But he just came out. I want him right now. Buys him for 200K. Three days later, 150K. Lawrence Taylor. Everyone's like, 700K, I don't care. He's the best player in the game. I'm like, just wait a week. Just wait one singular week. He went, everyone bought him for 750K. A week later, I got him for 320 by doing a set on Legend Saturday. I could even sell him for 400K still, make a little profit. A little bit, not a lot. Probably like 30K because I obviously have to deal with the reduction and stuff. But still, not, I still get to get them for a great price, especially if you want to keep them. Keeping price is important too, remember that. Not just about resale price, it's about keeping price. Obviously, if you snipe Mahomes are out for 280. Is that a good price for Mahomes? Yes. Is that a good resale price? No. Because if you resell it at 310K, you get back 280. So the reduction kills your profit margin. But if you want to keep it, that's a great price because you technically got them for 30K cheaper. And then you can just sell them back for its base value. So it's not bad at all as a keeping price. That's a big part of it too. Buying those players like Bobby Wagner for 125 is a good keeping price and a profit price. Marcus Allen, who was like 160 for a while, good keeping price and good profit price. All you guys gotta do is stay on top of the Mutt 10 players. And as far as what to, uh, what, like what you could be doing with them right now, this is not the time to buy. The market's kind of up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait till the Mutt 10 drops. Wait till Legend Saturday. Wait till this weekend. The season starts. We're gonna get new team of the week bosses. I'm giving it a week. I'm not. I think it's time to sell possibly. I'm giving it a week. Think about it. In a week, we got the first big team of the week boss. It's like 90 overall, probably. Saquon versus Dallas. He goes off for 250 yards, let's say, or 200 yards. He gets three touchdowns, let's just say. Saquon Barkley, team of the week halfback. Kills the halfback market. Then we also get a, then a, let's say Kyler Murray has an insane game, right? Well, Kyler Murray's a bad example because he's a rookie premier, but Baker Mayfield has an insane game. Or Cam Newton has an insane game. 250 yards 100 passing yards 100 rushing yards whatever three touchdowns cam newton team of the week 91 overall boss quarterback market dead dead cam newton overpriced so many things that happened this first week with mutt 10 team of the week i think there might be a kickoff promo coming mutt heroes is coming soon so many things are going to kill the market so that is why i don't recommend heavily investing in it right now i think now's the time to just chill back wait maybe take the week off maybe you could take this week on right because the season technically starts this sunday Take next week off. Take the season on. Take this week on. And then next week, take off. Get rid of some players. Build up your coin stack. Wait to reinvest. Is my best advice I can really give you guys. Because if you really think about it. You guys thinking? You guys thinking about it? Kickoff promo. Mutt Heroes. Team of the Week. Mutt 10. Legend Saturday. That's just five events that could progressively kill every player that you have on your team. Now, would I recommend selling everything? No. There's certain players that aren't going to be affected, right? Like... Lawrence Taylor, best defensive player in the game, probably won't be affected. Stephon Gilmore, Willie Brown, probably won't be affected too much unless the cornerback drops. A lot of guys that won't be affected too much. Patrick Mahomes, new quarterback, will be affected. Superstars aren't as back as they come with built-in ability, so they're going to retain their value. Marcus Allen, new running back drops, with evasive, going to be affected. So that's all you got to really look for, guys. That is about it for the video. I hope this does help you guys. 
Just be smart. Don't sell your whole team. Sell overpriced players. Save your coins. Reinvest. Play this weekend. Take next week off. Let let everything settle, right? It's like let the, it's like there's about to be a nuke and mad and ultimate team of all these promos and things coming out. Let it settle. I always like to have my coins settled before big promos, right? So when Halloween promos coming, I like to have coins ready. The Halloween promo drops, a lot of players come down, rebound back my team. I never like to go into a new promo with the whole team there. So we're gonna have team of the week, week one, kickoff. We have a lot, we just had a lot going on in the next week or so. So that's why I like to have coins ready. And then when the Mud Heroes promo comes out, don't want to have a team for that just yet. I like things will go down. And then Halloween promo, well, certainly do not want a new team. Everyone's gonna be crazy over the Halloween players. They're gonna be expensive. Regular players come down a lot. That's the perfect time to buy them, guys. That is it for the video, though. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, you won't regret it. Go smash the sub button, boys. Let's get to 8K as quick as possible. I'd greatly appreciate that. If you haven't already, comment down below if you think there's any other advice I should have given in that video. Let's get, excuse me, 250 likes in the video. If you're loyal, you're new, doesn't matter. The best way to show support to anyone's channel is drop a like, guys. Greatly appreciate it. Let's see if we can hit that like goal. 250 likes, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.